These researchers have been on the go for days, looking for saigas across the vast grasslands of the Kazakh steppe. The protected area is as large as France. After the devastating mass die-off last year, there are a mere 33,000 saiga antelopes left. It happened during the calving season. Here alone, in the largest saiga population, more than 200,000 animals died, 90% wiped out in a matter of days. Five thousand animals are buried under this hill. Conservationist Stefan Suter from the Frankfurt Zoological Society and British antelope specialist Richard Koch want to find out why so many animals died. We've known about this bacteria for some time, and the disease it causes is hemorrhagic septicemia, and the name itself, I think, says it all. It's a very nasty fatal uh, infection. The scientists have found out that it's caused by Pastorella bacteria and leads to internal bleeding in the animal's organs. But the big mystery is how these normally harmless bacteria became lethal pathogens. The animals were very stressed. They lost their coat. They don't have their winter coat. So the stress in combination with exposure to bacteria or the presence of bacteria leads to the invasion of the bacteria into the body and rapid death. Per acute, five hours, you know, 12 hours, dead. There have often been mass mortalities among saiga antelopes, but never of such magnitude. Why did all the infected animals die? And how could the disease break out in different places at once? The expedition aims to shed light on those questions. But first, the researchers have to find the animals. A meeting with rangers. They're supposed to lead the scientists to the saigas. The problem is that the only two animals with radio collars have moved away from the herd. They said the saiga aren't here anymore, that there are only small groups left. You can see them, but not get near them. The next day, something happens that no one had expected anymore. The ghosts of the steppe are there. The expedition has achieved its aim. Oh, wow. yeah. The animals have gathered a thousand kilometers deep in the steppe to bear their young. It's the calving season, the only time when the scientists can approach the shy animals. Most of the calves are already on their legs. Are the animals healthy? To find out, the calves are examined. Now the scientists can start the real work. That includes weighing and measuring the calves. We want to carry out conventional monitoring on the state of the calves. In other words, to find out how many there are, the density of the calf population, and the size of a litter, in order to see how reproduction is going. A tissue sample should show whether there are Pastorella bacteria in the calves' bodies. The usually harmless bacteria that became lethal pathogens last year, killing the animals. Despite the extreme environment, poaching and mass mortality, Kazakhstan's primordial animal has survived for millennia. But conservationists are worried that another mass die-off could be the last. <laughs>